Hello there, my name is Mrs. Jenkins. I wanted to take a look with you today at solving equations with variables on both sides. We're going to be solving for the variable in these equations, and we're going to have several different variables, but our goal remains the same. We want to get that variable all by itself, even though there's a bunch of them. Get it by itself on one side. Well, how exactly are we going to do that? The first thing we want to do is add and subtract terms so that we get the variables on one side of the equation and the constants on the other side of the equation. doesn't matter which side each is specifically on, just put them on different sides. Then you'll multiply or divide to completely isolate that variable. So we'll add and subtract terms first. So when we take a look at our first example here, we see we have a 2x on the left side and a 4x on the right side, both containing a variable. Then we've got our constants, a positive 7 and a negative 7. Now we want to get the variables and these terms, the yellow, on the same side the green on the other side. doesn't matter which way we move it, but I'm going to go ahead and start by subtracting 2x from both sides. Adding and subtracting here. The reason I subtract is so that this will cancel out. 2x minus 2x drops out, leaving me with just 7. 4x minus 2x is 2x. Well, I've got the variables together on one side, but I want to get that negative 7 over on the other side, so I'll need to add 7 in this case. When I go ahead and do that, it will drop out here, just leaving me with 2x. 7 plus 7 is 14. So now you can see we got the constants together on the one side. We got the variables together on the other side. Now we're ready to multiply or divide to get that x entirely by itself. When we go ahead and divide both sides by 2, that will cancel here, and we'll have that x is equal to 7. And 7 would be our answer then for our first example. Now if we scroll back up here and take a look at the next example, somewhat similar because you can see we have variables on both sides, and we've got constants on both sides too. I want you to take a minute to work through this example and see if you can solve for x. When you've gotten an answer, click Continue at the bottom of the screen. In this first example here, we moved the x's over to the right side. I'm going to do a little bit different here, and I'm going to add 5x so that this will cancel out, and I'll be moving that 5x so now my x terms will be over here on the left side. In fact, that's going to give me 8x, 3x plus 5x. Then I've got my constant still remaining, and I want to move this or get rid of this 19. I'll do that by subtracting 19 from both sides. That will cancel out that positive 19. And what am I left with? 8x equals 3 minus 19, which is a negative 16. If you got that far, you can see you've got the constant on one side, the variable on the other. We're now ready to do one last thing to solve for x, and that's to divide both sides. We'll divide by 8 to get cancel out this 8, just leaving us with x. Negative 16 divided by 8 is negative 2, and that's the answer you should have gotten. If you need any more help with this kind of algebra homework, sign up for Nutshell Math, and I'll see you there.